So here are the sketches that built up the game. When I started, um, first of all, I did some sketches. Okay, let me. <laughs> I called it, you can see that I've called the name Crude Oil Refinery. Don't mind the sketches. So I'm going to talk about the sketches that uh, build the game, that convey it to the game. And here we have um, some of the sketches. I think uh, this year, this year, the advanced step. This is the first step of the game. I was thinking of another one. We had um, some different ideas of buttons. There'll be an um, there'll be a sample screen where you have an, an image, and the player will need to drag elements from the to create the image from an inventory to create these exact images different ones and uh, due to difficulty level so we had and this um also put up those ideas you have uh you can have shape you can have patterns and you have uh different uh, motifs and different things and you have it and you'll be able to drag it into the element just like patchwork or design you drag it and you can create something okay so i was thinking of the, that before but went on to this okay so went further into this one that okay let's settle for a much for something um for something else but it's implementing some of those mechanics there to derive a game because i was thinking of seven different games but uh, due to the project brief and time limit and time restraint i had to do just um one game just one game i couldn't do seven but then i decided so i'm going to implement since i'm going the seven games here for seven different industry talking about the manufacturing the educational the advertising creative leisure and entertainment health and environment and security finally the security industry so those are seven main industries i was thinking of doing a game for each of the mini games for each of those industries so that it matches my thesis which is how to how games can adapt to create products and services in various industries so i just want to enhance on that by using a game but due to time restraint i had to go for just one game so that was why we had um this first design here because it was for the creative industry which you just drag and drop and create some um, different elements then you um, advance into some into others so this was for the manufacturing industry and it's set it for the manufacturing industry and that was why i called the game the first time the game the idea of the game i called it on crude oil refinery <laughs> yeah so that this, this is the sketch for it i'll just go closer so that you see it. so this is sketch for it i'm going to go put the others and you will go closer for the other sketches so this is the other one, the sketch for it. And uh, this is the other one, the sketch for it, okay? Oh, I should have removed this. Let me remove the one at the bottom. It's, it's easier to see <laughs> all the, it will be clearer to see the design, okay? So this was the first one I said went for that uh, we're uh, talking about for the where you have the sample and you some your sample image, then you have some elements here where you have the sample image, <laughs> then you have the other elements here, then you drag the element the sample image appears and you drag the elements, you um press the button of the exact elements to create this, or you drag an element from an inventory here to create the um the image, the sample image given to you. It's just like repeating, you see, um, a greeting card, you made a green. I have a, another video of it. I'm going to put the link in the description here of what I say you create, drag the element to create the patchwork. You can create any patchwork design you want. So we have different elements. So I was working on that one, but just a time restraint. We have some, so this is still like that one. 
So, and then we move to this one, manufacturing. So I set up for only the manufacturing and said the other six industries, we're going to pause that for now. But I'll use color, this manufacturing, talk about colors, and then use the colors to tell a story in the other industry. So that's, I still fulfill the desire of implementing seven different industries in the game. Okay, so um, then these ones were just um, different shapes. The sample we have here, here, exactly the sample, the player will need to uh, put, click on the sample and then there's going to be a lever of which the sample has to come in here, exactly how it appeared here. So if we have triangle, square, um, circle and a triangle, that is how the player is going to get the items from here to make sure they form exactly at the same order, the same sequence. There's going to be a lever here, so trying to implement most of them or this ideas, you know, a very large day you have to implement them. I went into this. Okay, so this one, I you can see I termed it um, recruit oil refinery. Yes, because um, I wanted to just since focusing on the manufacturing refinery. So I talked about petroleum, liquid gas, um, then diesel, and the others who have a score. And this is the lever, which is from this other one here. So I thought about taking this lever from here, trying to take ideas from each of them so that I don't abandon the different ideas. I was thinking of a lever here. Then there will be a traffic light of which the player, the uh, traffic light with allow only one bottle at a time. Why I did I sort of enforcing all those ones, and um, that brought it in, in, into this um, game here. This one here, <laughs> you can see how all my sketches are going. Then we have um, the bottle being spawned here. We have um, three different colors: blue, red, and green. First. But um, I was thinking, why blue, red, and green? That's just going to be like the RGB code, and I don't want that. Why don't I implement the code in the color that will be generated, and then have blue, red, and yellow, the main primary colors, then from that um, three colors, I can derive any colors. Why using this blue, red, and green? I was thinking of just using speed to, for the player, but I didn't want the player or anyone that come into to, to the game to say, oh, it's just like any other game, it's just speed, it's just speed, and then I'll have to be fast, and I'll, no, I want a soft game that even when I'm waiting for my doctor, or waiting for any kind of thing, or I can play, just relaxing without them being pressured by speed or something like that, I was thinking of something else that would be more creative, so I thought it's going to be a serious game, and that was when the concept of it being a serious game came into me, that I, so I have to take a lot of game games and games and gamification so that I can create a serious game because serious game is game created to suit a purpose to solve solutions so I wanted this game to solve day-to-day -day, um, solution any solution <laughs> that's the solution okay let me let me continue so I thought of easy then I was thinking of easy and hard um, easy uh, intermediate and difficult so how do I go about easy intermediate and difficult that was before so I came into this other idea that I um, maybe in the easy to just be a straight one then oh sorry it's a uh, flipped so it is going to be like a maze, like in the difficulty, the player will need to push the fine, maybe just enter, take a button into an elevator and look for where there's red or uh, the red tank is, that's where this tank is, where the blue tank is, where this, take it back and bring it, and then take it to the van. I thought that would be much work, but those that like a maze game, will love to play this. So I thought of something that I can work on quickly, easier. But I didn't know that was going to be the difficult part because as I was looking for easy, a lot of idea occurred, the game would look too easy and I want to implement some other things. So here we have the traffic light, you can see the traffic light here, I was saying it to show, so I was um, thinking of that too, 
and i wrote some other you can see some other scribbling scribbling don't worry i'm not a doctor <laughs> Oh, that's all because handwriting. The doctors don't have good handwriting. Um, because they don't need to see the medication they are prescribed. Okay, that's a side. I need to cancel. So, so um, with I that was when I thought of the levels one, two, three, four, and then it came into here. I'm just going to just cap it up. We came into here. To do the levels to see how the levels is the elevator that the player will take the item into the bottle into when they fill it with the correct colors mix it with the correct colors and they'll send it to this elevator then to take it into the van so with that i went to this Okay, I went to this level and in this level I'm just going to show you that you can see the bottle it spawns from here we have the sample button we have the bar this is going to also be a score bar because it's going to check the the sign signboard is going to check as it's, it's the sample and it's going to check whether the sample matches it and we're going to have a scanner here in front of the electric light to give the illusion as if the bottle is being scanned to me direction but yes indeed the bottle is being scanned to me direction and the direction we go to the either the van or the recycling box so that was um this and i wrote um some steps i'm going to take like from the, the triangular this box is just a, um this uh, lever is going to be triangle so i was thinking of an impossible triangle so that it can triangle so that it can match the bug so that it can put on the direction and it's going to flip wrongly so i thought of oh, okay i wanted to leave it plain like that but i thought about if it flips it gives another kind of mechanics then um they have to score a point for that <laughs> then we thought about i uh, thought about um explosion rainfall that whenever there's an explosion we all want them to be rain so that the dust can settle and cool and just flow out so i thought about rainfall and when it's rainfall we're gonna have ripples then i thought about badge instead of levels the, in in the levels instead of you seeing how the levels operate instead badges will be given according to this you see it's the same thing you're not going to go to uh, level one level, level one level two will be used as some badges so for the prototype which is in i thought about book flipping and that's opening to put um the game object because sometimes when i um, play games i want to know more about the elements i um elements the ability of the elements i decided to design a games design document because the idea was not becoming too large and i was getting overwhelmed i was um and i was getting confused that's um it was a struggle because i was getting too confused because of the elements i have to implement the mechanics i have to implement and i was losing count so i thought about the game design document i was working on it and that brought me into the game objects diary in which um, it's like a game design element too. So you have the object. I'll show you that in the game You when I'm designing it in affinity you have the object you have um, the What's the characteristics of each of the objects and we talk about other things there So this is kind of direct it into to, if it gets into the um, the Recycling wrong orders goes into recycling right orders into the van So there's a conveyor belt here that takes the play um, the bottle through So having that came into this and I was like, okay We will still need some other buttons at the base that will not disturb the game playing But these other buttons I thought about using the law of simplicity so that the player will not we still have we not have to um, we can click or see other things and be able to assess them without having to go straight in back into the menu page So we have some little menus of which we have more games to play our uh, links um, the books the tales of the final book we have uh, 
collection our inventory and different other parts and this thing so and i was thinking of the traffic light here yeah, i was thinking of the traffic light and i thought that uh, i will have all the different colors but when the colors became too much i decided against it i would just have about three or four colors of which are going to be the colors of the bottle except um, we won't have black on it in on the traffic lights so that's why you have um the bottles and i decided to implement black and white into the to give um darkness and light so if you want to make a pastel color you can use white and if you want to make the color darker you can use black for it so i was still using okay and sorry it's i think it's okay this is the right way so i decided that um in a refinery they need to have an helicopter which goes to and fro searching for casualties um so fire helicopter and if there's an explosion since we're going to have explosion we should have an helicopter fire fighter that will just be patrolling and helping us so i uh, and here you can see our van i think it is clear enough uh, we can see the van you can see the uh, triangle i want and then i made the other part of the triangle if you remember the triangle was not locking here it was just a, a triangle and you have a straight one just um like uh then here it became oh i don't know how to call this shape sorry yeah it was just like a triangle just here a triangle with this um scanner here so for um i decided that it, to make sure that it's in the right position and to make sure it's, i'm going to use an impossible triangle here and then it will um, there'll be a lock make is going to when it's in position like so it will be shown that it is being locked so that um the player will know when it flips and when it locks into position the right way the when wrong orders get into the um, recycling box and then moves into um there's going to be an explosion mountain at the back where it takes it to there's going to be an explosion there the helicopter moves to and fro so searching for and highlighting all that just searching the it's just like a juice it don't really do anything but just to when some say oh there's an if there's an explosion yes yes an helicopter have a fight a fight today just for juice so these are the bottles and sample so for the scanner, I had a little bit of challenge because um, first of all, I just use a um, straight, um, I just did a square and just um, put the colors, then um, the colors I was thinking of um, just putting a color in, then changing it to transparent, uh, transparent color, or oh, sorry, to be a little bit transparent, not too clear, but uh, changing the opacity of the color to about a... Uh, 20 uh 40 or 29 uh, 0.29 or uh, sorry 29 or 40 and i was thinking of using just blue or aqua to highlight it and also. so then i moment for that i know when i implemented it it wasn't um i didn't video i implemented it i didn't like it so i decided i'm going to make an aura that is not on light effect much well, to give that glow and i'm going to make sure there are lights on the scanner and i'll have some circles going over it i think i did a sketch of it so that i don't forget i don't so here i was talking about the colors of how to use the color okay here's a sketch of the where yeah, i said uh, for the scanner this I, I decided to use sprite because i was using um particles and i can i couldn't do the layer to come up the particles were not behind so i decided to use sprite because time was going against me and i still have a lot to do so i said let me try sprite and sprite really worked for it so i had a challenge of particles because uh, really i've not uh, used particles in my game so it was like learning it from the beginning and uh, that was you can see the circles that i was uh, talking about and i had that uh, motion then i had a, i wanted this was when i was using particles i wanted it to go spiral like an air shape but then since i couldn't do that i went with motion 
with a motion um, like an aurora using the aurora effect to create that uh, the northern light the northern light and uh, so this is um then I decided that when I did the northern light I didn't uh, it was just uh, when when the play, uh, bottle gets into it it just goes on in so I decided that okay I'm going to go for something else and then I added some circles to show it goes up and down it spawns to show the effect of its being scan then here you can see where I said both directions I'm talking about the impossible triangle here I did uh, a lotus and that's one thing I was forgetting I did a lotus and I'm going to talk about lotus next we did a lotus we did color mixing I did sounds the sounds here kind of um, hard I had to I tried one and I'm going to show you I was using my I use a guitar I played with my guitar I even took pictures so that I'll show you in the next clip I'll put in the clip where I used the guitar to do the sounds but um I didn't get it was kind of too soft too too uh I don't know how to put it but then I decided I now was listening you know when you're looking for sound you hear sounds everywhere I put on the dryer and I had you no know, kind of machinery working sound I said wow that's it but mm, it's a kind of definite sound to be honest so I talked about the menu and I, in the game you can zoom in and zoom out in when you're in the um, prototype mode that the scenario of the prototype so I did a lot and omitted a lot <laughs> so here i was implementing the buttons to work I, okay i talked about implementing buttons and here we have uh, tails the color palette the color theory so i found that the buttons are going to be too much we have the hints so that when you click you can have hints on the sequence of mixing if it's going to be drops or it's going to be um just intense so i'll talk about i'll show you that in the in further thing in further scenes down so i talked about the rgb code here and i was talking about the colors and what so i thought this was supposed to be in the game of your diary where you have the rgb codes you can put them in to derive the color so I said I decided against that because it was going to be too tedious for me and time was not on my side. <laughs> so I thought that another thing to implement was to use the arrow keys. Because when you are mixing and um, you want to you mix blue and red and you have to come back for blue later on, it's going to be difficult if it's just only the conveyor belt that's taking the bottom. So you need um, arrow keys to be able to go uh, to and fro so i implemented that and as i was working i was getting different ideas to it and i was sketching i was still getting different ideas to it so here wrote a lot of colors colors when you mix um sorry about it when you mix red red mixed with black yellow mixed by just jotting uh, just jotting some mixes that's before i'll get what so that i when I'm playing around, when, sorry, when I'm testing the colors mixing, I'll first of all mix red, mix with black, and see what color it will give me, and I write the name later. On. So, but this is what I saw that when I'm playing, um, testing with red, trying to derive colors that what red mixes with, we get. You see them here. Red mixes with, with purple, mixed with purple. What will it give? So I. I also decided on um, some color palettes. So there's a baby color palette that I plan putting. Okay, this one. Sorry, it's not your time for this one. So this is just mine. So yeah, okay. I've seen them. So here, yeah, there are the color mixing 
talked about so much many color mixing what colors i really want in the game so that for the prototype and with that we can make the main game so this, because it's just a prototype i have to make sure i still do some advanced work not just doing something big too and then find out that the main game i can't so i make sure that um I can do some advance which will in the when I enhance and put it in the main game it's going to be all right so uh, I did some colors wrote some name of colors and you can see that's color mixing uh, I wrote here that blue and red is purple and so blue and yellow is green red and yellow is orange so I did I wrote some colors I want to find out how to mix like a uh, Bones red, dark red, light orange, dark orange, and many others, even a quasi green, and so forth. So, uh, with the colors being so large and um, it was getting too tedious trying to keep track of the colors, I decided to make a um, table or um, some a table. Then I can write colors and talk about the mixing so here the first time i want i went through i made this table and then i said color collection one color mix so i wrote all the colors that are in their main state without it being mixed you know i have five so you have um, black white red blue and yellow then i did um two colors mix so i was able to keep track with this one two color mix i wrote um blue and yellow will give me green and so on and so forth so that's how i did it and that's how i was able to keep track of my color because it was really getting confusing and i was getting tired of the thing and I, so yeah we still have the two colored mix and then we went into three colored mix so in three colors mix, I said um, blue, red, yellow, we're going to mix blue, black, white, and so forth, so on. So we went into four color mix. And then we went into five color mix. And when it was getting five, six, or stuff like that, I decided, and you can see some of the blank, I'm just going to turn it sideways. And you can see some of the blank, uh, some of the blank table, the sheet I did, so that... Um, I'm able to keep track of some. I also use it to draw it for the game objects too. That brings us. Okay, no, not you, not here. So then I got some some art magazines of where they talk about colors and the mixing, and I was trying to understand read them to know more about uh, color mix. Just taking the actual colors instead of you know sometimes in. Um, the tubes, um, color painting tubes, uh, tubes, uh, coloring tubes, you have different names on them. But now I have only three colors and I have to do. So this was the book I, um, this is the magazine, painting with watercolors. So I had to go through a lot to make sure you can see the darker, the lighter. The... So I went through them. So that was all about the colors. Then I wanted to implement how do I implement the other industries? What to take? You know, earlier I said in the the one the sketch of implementing different industries so that um, the idea of making seven games for different, but which I want to do as one game now due to time risk uh, limit. So I thought of what is going to hold those industries icons that I want to use and uh, how I'm going to use it to now put in the story since I said I was going to use it to tell a story of the indo of different industrial colors are being used in different industries so I went closer and decided that I'm going to have a lily who is which is going to bear fruit or uh, bear gifts and those gifts are going to be icons of different industries and those icons will be used to unlock the storybook which i will title tales of the refinery 
because um, there is a refinery that is telling you these stories. It's been there for a very long time and it's going to tell you the stories of how colors are being used in different industries because it is the one supplying all industries colors that can be used. So, and we know that colors are being used in nature, um, colors, everything is represented in colors and colors can be used for identification and all sorts. I'm going to put a lot of, uh, uh, I'm going to put some talks about colors, um, of how colors are being used. So, I went further, I decided that, the, um, we are going to have states. The lotus we have our radar and I'll show you in the main game. The radar has um the radar sorry. The radars mm, yeah radar. The radar we have uh I, I used um, a paint a palette plate with a brush as the radar because why did I use a palette plate? Because we're talking about colours and that uh, is a symbol of colouring of art. And also, so it's an icon in art so I decided to use that so we have um, it's going to go in local scale local scale that means it will be increasing and decreasing as it's going to float then it's going to then this is when it's open you see you see the same and then this is when it opens when it opens and it will bring uh, it will bring the gift so like a flower that brings out pollen when it's open I decided to use the word pollen here so that instead of gifts so you, it opens and I bring um, gifts out so here I went again as you know ideas here and there you have to implement as you go along as it's okay um events we in the in the industry we also have dates international and national dates we have different celebrations so i talked about implementing calendar uh but um that's going to be really tedious because i've never done that before and that means i will have to have access to some i will need to really study that it's very hard so i decided that okay instead i'll make it a graphics calendar um where i'll just show all the dates of that particular month and the next month you can see click to see a little of incoming event where we can use colors to celebrate so i did some write-up of game of japan in endless book and we have missions badges frames on the elevator so that the player will know when the bottle is going to be a new bottle is coming up and then player can click on some of the lilies then um i i struggled also with the name to call the money in the game so i settled for color box but i wanted to add another thing of which i decided it's going to be called feedback is just a bottle of color i'll show you in the game it's going to be a bottle of color and i'll call it and i struggle with name too because when you session name someone is somebody's name and you don't want trouble so you don't want to use those names or similar so i decided on uh, color statistics because of what it's going to give to us that is um it talks about um that's a feedback in the game sorry feedback um like when you order something from um you buy something from a company and you have to rate the company the rating that the um, a customer gives so i decided to implement that that is gamification so i decided to implement it since i've um, gone on a bragging right <laughs> since i've gone on a bragging right to say i'm going to in, uh, make it a serious game and i'm going to implement a gaming and gamification to enhance the game and see how gamification can be implemented into to, to do some games so with that i went and did some buttons i had a sh you can see the calendar button there yeah? i did calendar i did a shop but um the shop i i'm struggling with it making it sell things and also so i'm going to leave that because time is really i'm now in the last phase and the shop is not done i've done the inventory and hints Hints, anytime you click a sample appears, you can click on the hint button and you can see whatever. You can see the color sequence on how to mix the color. And you have to follow it rightly. If not, it won't mix properly or it won't mix. 
Yeah, now the tales of the refinery here, the book where the stories are in, and um, then I added a lot. I did many of the game. I was trying to go like so, but too much buttons again. I have to implement a lot of simplicity. So one other thing I noticed about the game was that I had to implement a lot of theories to it. I had to implement color theory, I had to implement a lot of simplicity, I have to implement a lot of effect and I have to ensure that there's a flow theory so that the player don't get bored. So with those ones, uh, that was why I had to go through implementing different things in the industry to enhance the game. So for the books, I decided that there will be levels to open the book, and there will be, uh, and I had to add more color samples, and I had um, badges, I did a menu, title screen, frames, points, points, and color box, points, which I know I will not call them, color stats, stats. Um, I use that um, short form for statistics. I said, <laughs> let's call it stats. Perhaps somebody has not used that full name. So I searched and no one has used it. So I used that uh, thing. Then I implemented um, a social media button at the base too, so that the player can share the game on their social media pages. That's helping us to gain a community. Okay, it's also a screenshot and you can see here what I said that I'm walking to the day and that was what I did. There's also a screenshot. Sorry, most of the time I couldn't um, I'm just talking about my sketches now because I have to write them first before I go do the graphics and then implement them. That's because sometimes I'm implementing it. Um, there are people around. I can't really do much uh, recording like that. So that we don't have voiceover and all stuff. So, but I can record my progress and because the game was too much, my memory was getting low. My computer was getting slow. <laughs> so we had um, uh, implemented screenshots, which I'm going to show you everything in the game and also in the gameplay. So implemented menu, badges, um, the book. I did the book. So I did a lot and... I think those are my sketches that have been implemented. So there was the menu. I was thinking, so I went for this and bad menu. We have the play, and in the play mode, we have a prototype, creative, and game mode. But the prototype, since this is a prototype, I decided to close only the creative and the game mode so that you play the prototype. So later on, I will work on, there's no time now, again, work on the creative and the game mode. And you will be able to access the three parts of it, hopefully. All things being equal. So we, I have the credits and whatever game asset I used, I used game asset for my, for the Tales of the Refinery because of the book opening. I couldn't do it on my own. So I had to use game assets. Yes, game assets. Why not? If not, something make my life easier. Fine, because as I said, time is against me, and uh, I had this, I had so many days on time. So you have uh, then we have the tutorial. The tutorial I decided on a video side and a written one because some people will not want to just watch a video of everything. Some people want to watch a video. So I decided for the video one is going to be the gameplay that will be implemented in the tutorial and the written part is just going to be a visual infographics with a little or minimum text to just show you how to play the game. It's going to take from how to play the game and different other things. So that's all for the that's all for my sketches when well, I go to the graphics to um, graphics I did for the game before when the final one will be the main game uh, the talk about the game before the gameplay so I want to say thank you for joining me for this um, development log of um, documenting my sketches before the game so I Here I used the um, Coral Painter to do some color mixing to see 
what color I can derive and then I'll take the eyedropper too I'll pick colors from the color palette go in here take the hex code and go into affinity or um, Clip Studio Paint or should I go into there and I'll work on I'll take get hex code from because I couldn't get hex code from me I could only get RGB and I'll find a closest name for it Taking that, you can see it's orange, and I'll see if it's orangey red or red orange or yellow orange. So mixing this one, I'm just going to do, you see this one is yellow orange. Look for a closer one, yeah, yellow orange. And here we mix. So mixing different colors. I was able to mix to get different colors from using a um, color painter. Then I went ahead into Affinity. If you notice, this, this was on the lily, the radar on the lily. And um, I came into um, Clip Studio Paint. You can see the name here, Lily Radar with radar lines. I came into Clip Studio Paint and I drew radar lines using spe special lines in um, Clip Studio. So I'm just going to get a two ruler. So you, you see you see it here, radial lines. So that was what I drew to make sure it come it come is uh, coming to the center like a concentric um, circle. So that was what um, this is a special ruler. Just do a drop down menu and these are the rulers they have special rulers they have. So I've made some, um, I made some badges. This will be used for levels. Instead of um, making the scene change, I've used this for levels. When it's color starter, the player will not be able to mix. Color tester, the player will be able to mix only two colors. And so color certifier, the player, no, color mixer, the player will be able to mix three colors. Color certifier, player will be able to mix four colors. So and so on. Then when it's color randomized, enhancer, the player will be able to mix colors, but its state will change from intense to mild. So the color enhancer, the, co the player's colors are uh, indicated in drops. So I'll show you that. Taking a look here, you will see that the player is able to mix some um, three colors, and this and the color bottle, the acetylene bottle, they are intense. So I'll show you the when it starts mixing in drops. So here the player starts mixing in drops, and you can see that instead of this uh, bottle icon here that we use for previous one when they start and of when they advance and start learning how to mix colors we i went further to use um, drops to indicate progression that is is drops it highlights that it is drops that the player is going to use now whenever it's in the mind state So I made buttons for the menu. You can see all the buttons here. Then I made the, the lilies. Just going to find it from here. So these are the two states of the lily. But um, I've showed you the red, the red dial, but I've not. Um, So these are the two states of the lily. When the lily is just floating, and this is when it's being clicked for the industry icon to appear above. Then I decided to put the radar I showed in um, that I designed in Clip Studio. Although I designed that a vector here, to, of course, it's the same palette to use for the badges. 
I just then took the icon out let me move this one so that uh, they are not appearing over so I just took the icons out and um, I just took the icon the same um, palette plate all I did was turn it into a line art and then took the item into Clip Studio Paint and draw those uh, radar lines there. Then I created a helicopter. There's um, someone in there in the helicopter. There's a firefighter in the helicopter, a pilot, and it's also a firefighter. This is the siren, this is, these are the propellers. So I did them, you can see all the stages of making them, they are in, in vector format here. Yeah. You can see all the shapes placed together. Here is a line out for the lily radar that I did, the radar. Here is a line out for the lily radar that I did. And then I progressed to just use colors first to see. But when I laid it over the um, lily, it wasn't, um, the colors were not pronounced. So I know I needed something darker and I went for, I was okay. I'll just go with straight lines. That was the one we, I did um, in Clip Studio Paint. And I colored the brush. <laughs> went further and I made a scanning platform the motion this one and I made um, some rings so I'll just bring these rings forward so that uh, I'll put it in another color so that you see the rings oh shh. no 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 it should be lines oh I'm doing the, the wrong selection sorry 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 So I'm going to put the, so I made some lines, some rings, of which uh, I'm just going to color them red so that you see them. Um, I made some rings that we go up and down as a bottle and scans the bottle. And this, um, this motion light will show when the bottle comes in contact with this um, with a scanner so you can see the scanner and I made the, the lights I went further I made a tanker that's going to accept the correctly fused bottle then I made uh, you can see this is the opening scene I decided to make each sect each um, ref industry and use um, the colors that are color the color box. This is the color box. I <laughs> decided to use it as um, the seal. So I made this one separate. It clicks into position here, and then the industry spins. That was what I used for the welcome scene. I went further and I started creating tabs. So you can see when I did the lineup of the tabs here, I first of all went into um, affinity and I created those tabs. Then I made, I want to see how it's going to be on the scene. So I made this um, scene, a scenery, and I layered the tab and I just um, made an outline of the tabs to see how it will look if um, it's in the game area. So when I first of all created them, they didn't have this way how they were. They didn't have names to it, and I was like, um, "How will I find out exactly what the name of the tab is?" So I went further and said, "Okay, if I attach a name to it, it will be easier when the player zooms in and zooms out. It will be able to, easier to see. And if if I just um, take some of these off the 
screen and this one okay all these your tags that are uh, used um, as labels to add um, for buttons to add names and here are, are the blank buttons so this play button you can see how and I enlarge them so here we have the feedback button let me just zoom in and the color box you can see them in here so this is the color box sorry this is a color box that's money for in the game created it and then i made the the bottom as a feedback that's for you know you get negative and positive feedback for anything that cl cl when your clients order things from the um from a company the company will uh, do a survey do you like the good uh, rating how are you going to rate us and so we call that um i call that the color stats statistics because after searching for names it was really difficult coming <laughs> looking for names you see someone has used the name someone is using the name so you have to use um check continue checking until i'm about to get that after creating some elements i decided to put hints because not everyone will know the sequence of how colors are being mixed so i decided to make tabs and call them hints um yeah for hints and they have their coordinating names along with uh, them you can So we can see in uh, we have this one as drops and we have this one as bottles. The drops are when the, um, the state of the color is mild and the bottles when the state of the color is intense. When the player clicks, when he sees the sample order on the screen, his coordinating name is there and it tells the then the player can click the hints button and the player can decide and sorry and the player can click the hint button and one of this will pop up is coordinating um sequence of co how co co the color will be mixed will pop up and the player will know the player has to be fast we just need to look or they can read and note how many the drops of colors and here in the drops have stated blue i think uh, let me move this one out so that we don't uh, have clutters so here i said um blue is three drops of blue red black one drop white one drop and black so when the player mixes to white because white is the last um, tank when the player mixes to white the player has to use the arrow keys and come back for the black so you understand why i need the arrow you need the arrow keys to move to and fro to mix colors it's not just to move from this is to move because you still the player will still be able to move backwards to move mix colors so i'm just going to put the one of the other ones this you can see for over here i have five color mix four four three two one and uh, let me put the four color mix no five seems so so these are three color mix sorry let me put the three color mix so these are three color mix um you have red yellow red red is before yellow in the tank um in the tank and the player will need to come back for range you have red orange you have midnight blue after mixing you come back but if the player mixes black and black then come back for blue it won't give me night blue that's because the player has to follow the sequence but there are some things that are uh, something like if the player mix red and um, yellow and then red sorry green um blue and yellow and blue and then mix red the player will still get brown if the player mix red and yellow player will get orange and if you mix blue we have a different color entirely so we had some sequence that the player will need to follow for that 
then i went further into color characteristics because the game was getting large and i wanted to keep track of what the car the features of each of these elements so well, you can see the scanner and i said what the game, the game object characteristics say what the scanner is the color theory the emotion it creates its glowing light let me zoom in so that you can see that its glowing light gives the emo emotion of being magnetic while creating a realistic representation of the object oh i said <laughs> oh, no no this one is an error here okay so still coding I went further and made game object characteristics or features and they are in the game object diary. Then being created. These are the industry icons, some of them, not all. Then the color sample screen and many more. Then I made a the cover of the book, Tales of the Refinery. You can see the industry icons, you can see it and the ref picture of the refinery. Then I decided on the, that um, th these two items, um, the feedback and the, sorry, the feedback, which is the color statistics uh, or stats, and the color box which is a coin will be used to unlock the book so i uh, first of all what i do is design it in the um, do the illustration first in affinity clip studio paint or um coral paint time anyone but i mostly use affinity because they are vector files so um i'm used to have vector vector designing in affinity than uh clip studio paint but if it's just drawing, I use Clip Studio Paint for them. That's when I decided that uh, lock we're going to use unlock, and um, then let me go further. And the items that will be used to unlock these are the industry icons, and the items I'll be used to unlock the industries. Oh, sorry, the stories of the tales of the refinery. These are the items. That will be used. I'll just go closer so that we see one of them. So these for this we will need one coin, ten points, one cake, and then we can unlock that particular story. So this tag will be underneath the story the um tag of the story that's the picture or illustration of the story or title of the story is going to be underneath so that the player knows what they need to unlock that story furthermore i went and did instructions because um you know since we have different uh section of play or sectors of play i wanted the player to understand in graphical format without having to read too much words on what to do so here i we did i did the instructions said um, how to play the color field if the player decides not to play the industry icons, they are free not to play the industry icons it's just those that want extra that wants okay they want to listen and then from the industry icons they can they get their reward and in each if they don't want to play um the color field i want to only play the industrial uh, i sorry industry icons they can get the reward but the only thing is that they won't be able to open the book if they want to because the book the 
desires uh, to unlock the book you need a color fee reward and the industry icon reward and then the player you can unlock the book and the book you can listen in audio format or you can read I decided that it should be in audio format because I know a lot of us don't want to read too much of words or too much stuff. some of us want to read I love reading I love listening I love both of them funny enough I love both just depend on the mood I am in I love when it's a story sometimes I like reading them sometimes I just want to listen to them just let them play so I decided to put that because uh, then I thought further, when you ask why industry, uh, why do I have um, industry events? I love sharing works of uh, people, artworks and promoting events and stuff. So I decided how can I do small, I uh, add some gamification, like uh, uh, more than that in the game. How can I promote events, create advert games? that's the right word in the game without having to have ads in the game like that if it's just um the prototype for the web play you can put competitions in and uh, i was like okay i just had and okay let's do it this way so we have missions of which there are rewards to be completed those missions with progress bar and um, i need a calendar of which with a calendar, it can tell you if we are going to, it inspires with color palettes or different events. And then um, you have in-game reward and you have out-game reward. You can tell our little boy here, little boy, ginger boy, happy and you earn reward. This builds community. And also to be enabled to share different works of uh, game that different gaming events that are taking place in the industry, apart from gaming events or in the creative industry, and we can also inspire um, creative activities with this uh, game with this um, event calendar. The event calendar goes um, it shows about national and international holidays. So this is the event calendar for June. We have that of May, April, May, June, July. So we have, um, you know, we have the Royal Scott. We have no. Okay, I've not finished editing this June calendar, so I'm just going to remove this one. Okay. So Father's Day is 18th of um, June, National Higher Education Day, we have um, National Gardening Week, Games Show, the Games Show for the University of Arts London, London College of Communication is from 13th to 17th. So we, you see we can use that to promote, um, you can use that to show events that are coming up in the industry. So I'm going to put the one of May first. You can see from so May on we have um, May 1st International Workers Day. Star Wars Day, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> then we'll have uh, King Charles III Coronation on the 6th of May. We have um, different other days, National Streaming Day on the 20th, and um, I think this word book I've not um, edited, so I'm going to remove this one. I don't know if this one. I'm going to remove this one. So I'm still working on the dates in there to make sure that they suit the purpose. That's it. Then these are the out game events we use for inspiration to inspire the player to be creative, not just in the game. People want to you know how far they can use colors in their in the game or out to out game. So we have some color inspiration of which we have game one and game two. So the player we due to time we'll 
put some out we'll put the next one in the player can assess both game one and game two when game two is ready to assess not that then we delete game one no the player can assess game one game two because they might like game one to take part in and um then they can decide if they want game two too so it's optional then i started creating then i started creating the environment so that the special environment matches the concept of the story of of the game i made some mist to so that um the scenery can have that depth you can see there's a mountain at the back here and the mountain looks further because there's um, a mist in between so as not to forget i made the uh, credits i used um, some game assets so i have to acknowledge the people's the people whose assets i use the designers whose assets i use in the game this is um the cover for the tales of the refinery how to design it then i had to um design the cover for the game object diary so i'm just going to zoom out so that you see the okay then i think uh, oh uh, zoom the games. I'm just going to. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that should be alright. Okay, so I design. This is the game object diary. You can see a coin here, <laughs> the color box. Okay, and uh, this is the tales of the refinery. You can see the color box here and the uh, in the the industries the seven main industry and then add a color story to this part we have um the refinery the beginning stage where i was designing it so when i progress into the game we will show you a lot that i made in the game show you my progress in the game so here's the welcome scene of the game Click on the enter key and you see the slider, it opens into the refinery, but not the main refinery, just the title page. Then we have, um, if you, you can view the instruction, we have a video play of the instruction. So here is the video play. You click on the video play to view the video play of the instruction. So I'm just going to let it play a little because we've not gone there. So uh, you click anywhere up to the right and we'll be back to the how to play tutorial scene. Then you go to the instruction, you can see in um, infographics how to play the game the you have um, four different steps you can see that I um, separated the tags for each one that's everyone has its own tag so the color view this is where it ends this is a reward for it the industry icon this is reward for it the book story these are how you listen to it or read it and these are the reward you use other rewards and use it across the scene then we have um the missions you also get rewards too so just click go, come back into the how to place tutorial scene we click close we're back into the menu scene so go about about the game of which you can read and you can just uh, close we have our credits 
then if you go, go sorry if you go over the play button you see that it has this um, function as if it's um pressing and, and i want to thank i follow the tutorial to learn about it how to create such effect um i can't i remember i think the channel is alex something i can't remember the alex zotos or something like that i can't remember i didn't uh, i would have scribbled the name oh, but so um i you put the play the play over it's it is just a um, mouse over it's not on then the other there's a mode pop mode appear you have the prototype the creative and the game mode for now i just disabled the creative mode and the game mode so that we focus on the prototype make every any correction we have to make in the prototype mode before we activate the game mode and the creative mode so i'm just going to the game mode uh, sorry prototype mode i'm just going to uh, my button my volume is muted here we have a very loud noise yeah! <laughs> okay so i'm going to uh, move to my and uh, so that i talk and uh, we don't you can zoom out you can uh, sorry you can zoom in and then zoom out okay so you notice that we have an explosion on the back and a rainfall let's make those disappear and this lip this uh, level flips when it's not correct flips into this wrong position so i'm just going to use the arrow key and you see the lever flipping back into the right position because the order is uh, correct so using the arrow key the left mouse arrow and the right mouse arrow key you can move the bottles back and forth and using the coordinating key or the keyboard you can flood fill the bottle or using the mouse key just click on any of the icons and if you will see when i click on the yellow you will see that um, the, there's no teardrop on that icon anymore it just changed to as if it's flood field so you can use the mouse button to just click on the icon then let's find uh, our lily okay we have badges you see color tester we cannot test colors so wrong flip <laughs> because this other is wrong and this hasn't got into the van so you have uh, a timer that downloads that downloads um, a bottle at a certain time okay so i see our lily i'm just going to click on the lily it's behind the um, fire so i'm just going to click on the lily and you will see that gifts are appearing oh it's time for us to mix we are not in color text uh, tester so i'm just going to mix and we have a green color let me now we have a color mixer so i'm just going to be fast and you can notice that we still have our points in um in positive first we have our color statistics before it was in negative now it's now in positive that's because of the last one even if it, it, it can be in negative or positive because you have a higher uh, like uh, let me say client gave you a higher negative number and even if you have a positive number you have to build up more positive number to be able to come into positive that's how the color st uh, statistics work incorrect orders negative feedback correct orders positive feedback okay you can pause the game and you can play so uh, let me just okay you can play we're going to uh, color now So put white and we'll come back and we we'll put white again. So clicking the hint button, you can see what um, tells us what we're going to do. And our color is, in, is intense. 
I didn't check the color. Ah, uh, I'm a wrong color. <laughs> I didn't check. Okay, so. Clicking on the calendar, you can see the month. We have a calendar here. We have rewards. Our van that uh, ties are moving. And uh, let me not go back to zero. Let me just flood fill this one. Okay. We have the share button of which you can share to Facebook. Okay, share the game on Facebook. You can share on Instagram. You can it, get into our Instagram page. You can share on Twitter and uh, this is our YouTube. Okay, so this is my YouTube channel. So you can see that they are working. Lemon mix. We have a parrot pink. What's how do we make parrots pink? Black. No white. Uh, we're not going to flip wrong. Okay. okay. Navy. Grulo. How am I going to make Grulo? Let me. Two, one, 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 one. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. So now the color, it, yes, you can see that the color is mild now. So I'm just going to, it's going to be drops. Two, one, one, one. I have a lot of cans now. One. That's wrong. I didn't get it right. Come on, I didn't get Grulo right. I didn't get Grulo right. Oh. So let's note the state of the color. Uh, now, <laughs> and uh, when you're in a mixer state, uh, um, you started mixing, the color is unforgiving. In a um, starter state, if it's a wrong color, you feel first time. If you feel blue and it's red, you want you feel red, it just becomes red. But in in tester state, once you mix two colors. Tester and above, once you mix two colors, it just makes a new color for you. It just turns into a new color. It's not going to change. So you have to not make sure you don't uh, make that mistake. So we'll just go to... I can take screenshots here. It's a folder already exists because it's going to save it in my folder. Then Game Objects Diary, let's go in there. Click on um, Open Front. You see it? yeah then open middle you can see the characteristics of each uh, game object here see our helicopter and the explosion <laughs> tells you all about them so let's uh gray gray is made by black and white and give us gray oh i did to Two black before white. Wrong. I want to see the white because when the white goes, it will go wrong. That's because see the bottle you think is white, but there's a little bit of opacity there, so you need to feel the player need to feel the bottom. And when it feels another white, when it feels, it's going to turn. So that the player don't stop playing. So we need to build our feedback buttons after uh, feedback or feed statistics. Let's click on the tails of the refinery first. For clicking on it, you use um, the left um, greater than and left less than to open the book. To, sorry, to move the pages of the book. And here we can see the story. You can listen to it because um it's still locked we have what we need to unlock the um, story is one coin 10 statistics and one cake hope we have cake so 
so since we can't let's check the second story color of the sky or color of the night sky we have what we need to unlock them here but we we don't even have up to that amount we have um the religious lipstick color identification okay so there are different stories that you can listen to we have the lotus gift we have the hospital uniforms all those are color stories and many so we need to get more icons why wrongly field So let me click on more lilies and as I click we'll get some icons we need a cake I just want to make sure we get the cake okay that's fashion oh sky blue sky blue blue and white oh. pale pink will be less red white and white light purple i did that last time making a mistake and uh, add white to it okay so if we click on the collection we have our inventory before us and we have a lot of uh we have items and we have cake ones so let's go and open our story so now we can oh the first time i didn't uh, check the story i didn't click on the story okay i'll do another one that we can click in so unlock here we have it and oh i need to um okay my audio <laughs> the building bricks hashtag all for the toys ow i screamed as i landed on my back in swift succession Okay, I and I want to go to the next page. You see that stuff that stopped on plain. Let's see if this can unlock. If we have enough, it will unlock. And colors of the night sky in Aurora. I will be traveling far and wide to areas where the Aurora appears in the night sky. Okay, let's go to the next story. We can't unlock it because we don't have all the items. You see here we need 100 statistics, 7 coin, and 1 fashion. We don't have it. So you see that it can't unlock. Let's see whether we can unlock the next story. Unlock, we can't unlock because it needs higher numbers. So if you get them, you're able to unlock the stories. You click takes you back into the refinery and we can play Oh, midnight blue, midnight blue, midnight blue. White. Oh. I was trying to cheat, but anytime I come back, it, after the scanner, anytime I come back, it's minus this um, score from me. So it takes me to a lower level in which the sample is still the same, but I now get that error. So I'm going to let this one go. So that I can trigger a new sample in. So trying to cheat is another problem. It's going to cause... <laughs> Mm 
the rainfall when there's rainfall there are ripples and explosion causes the rainfall and the rainfall causes the ripples so we have to be in positive number although the static is not affected just in um, coin and then you can see that there's no explosion on the back there's no rainfall and there's no ripple let me pause this okay then uh, we go to the here you can ask them frequently sorry i went to click on the wrong one so we'll come back into so with the menu i'm going to click on frequently asked questions you can see all the questions we We've answered a little of um, the questions we know you're going to ask us. So here we said what's the difference between color intense and color mild. Color mild drops color intense. The color strength is strong. And a drop will give you the exact color. That's if it's very um, a drop of a color intense. The color strength is strong, but a single drop, a single drop is enough. But the color drop, uh, sorry, color mild. We have color calendar events. We have uh, how can I share games on social media? What's in the shop? Although the shop is not yet opened, they activated that for now. So that we can consecrate on other things because um, in collections for the shop we need to make them ready. So um, game of your diary and how do I know color sequence when mixing? It tells you that you click on the hint button when sh we show how the color should be mixed in drops when the color state is mild or when the color state is intense. So clicking on it, you come back into this and this uh, scene, it will show you exactly. And you can see that this car is saved across all scenes. So if we, if we go now to, let's go to the menu scene, you enter, click the game. And to leave the game, you have to click exit here. What well, you wonder why is there no exit there? Because we because of the buttons there, you may mistake click click exit on the game, and we don't want you to say, Oh, and once you leave the game, you lost your score, you lost everything. We want you to be sure you really want to lose. So I didn't want a pop up to say, Are you sure you want to leave, leave the game? This one, we are sure you want to leave the game because you came in here to say you want to click exit. So that is how it is. So thank you for joining me for my develop vlog and until next time, <laughs> happy game designing. Bye for now. Thank you.